Hello everyone, today we are doing the Lion's Arch Exterminator Collection. We're going to go through each one of the 50 karkas that you need to shoot. And at the end you'll be rewarded with the princess. So just in case you're not familiar, the princess is an eater or a converter for the Dragonite. Or a good way to get rid of them and get a little something in return. So... I will go through, not in order, but by area of map in hopefully what is a more convenient order. I'll put timestamps for everyone below. And it sounds like a lot of people like my working maps, which are approximate me drawing on the map of where the items are. I'll link those images below as well. To get started, we're in Lion's Arch. The entire collection will be in Lion's Arch as well. And we're going to head to the Commodore's Quarter Waypoint. We're going to head to our friend here, Turl Sharp Tooth, and we're going to get a gun. So a few things quickly. If you lose the gun, you just have to come back to our friend here, Turl. And if you leave Lion's Arch or die, you're going to lose the gun. But again, we can just come back here. Sometimes you'll come across an area where you can't really see your skills or just hit the button that you would, whatever you have keyed here. For most people, it's number one unless you've changed it and you should be good. There's a few areas that are a little tricky, but the first one we're going to do, as you can see by my personal waypoint, is number six. Number six is right here. It's the only one I have shot. It's the easiest to find get this bad boy right here. Our next one is approximately here. It's number 11. You can hear them in behind the bed right here. Next one is number 12, it's like here. So we're gonna go Oh, my oh goodness. Oh, I'm so nervous. I can do it. No, no, I chickened out. It's not that hard. Oh, I almost went off. Oh, we made it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I keep thinking he's under the bed too. No, he's right here. So that one is a number 12. We're just going to waypoint back. And we're going to head for number 29. right here behind the flower pot next up is number 30 which is like here-ish I believe just right here then we're gonna go for number nine again this, these personal waypoints are approximate that general area we're gonna for me, I'm not shooting any of these so that I can uh, see them, just in case I make a mistake. And that was number nine. Number seven, I think it's like here-ish. The one with the two script. There we go. So we're gonna go in behind. And I've gotten over here, but it's not easy. So that is your number seven. We're going to now get 13, which is like, uh, it was like here. I, oh no. Oh no. So you can shoot from here to give you a better view right here. You just have to kind of aim for the quarter, corner and kind of step back a little bit. 
um, or wait for the karka to jump. Some of these harder ones, they will jump, but again, if you have mounts, you can kind of cheat it a little bit. So that was number 13. And number 44 is about here ish. Follower of Balthazar all my life. I refuse to believe he's indiscriminately killing people. Oh. Okay, I was off a little bit. You're lucky you didn't take a bite out of you. Speaking of, have you eaten this right. week? Not right really. here. Can you see him? There. Yes. And that is number 44. So this would complete the Commodore's quarter section, and I'll move on to the Western Ward. We are now at the Western Ward Waypoint, and we'll be heading towards my personal waypoint for number 10. You can use a mount. I'm trying not to use a mount because this is core Tyria. Not everyone will have a mount. And if you didn't have a glider, you just died. So we're looking for Salty and we're going on these boxes and you just kind of go in behind them. It can be a little tricky. And up the rocks and then turn around. And there is number 10. Next, we will be doing a number 31. which is near crow's nest point of interest or it is crow's nest point of interest get through a little faster So we want to go on this, oh my goodness, <laughs> and there is number 31. For 33, it's quicker to just take the Sanctum, I'm in the way, Harbor Waypoint. I'm going to turn around and go through this little door here. And there is number 33, and then 32 is actually in here. So let's see if we can... Right, <laughs> right there. Awesome, so we're going to move to White Crane Terrace. Next, we're doing the White Crane Terrace section of the map in Lion's Arch. We're at the Diverse Ledges Waypoint. We're gonna start with number 34. So the entrance to the cave we're going to is right here, but we need to go inward. gonna look for this stalk of seaweed or wall of seaweed I guess would be a better word for it and these stairs as well and this one will lead us right into number one as well but there is an easier way to get to number one This big old rock in the middle next to the waterfall and look up and it's right there. So that's where you're going to want to aim at your gun. See? And if we continue on, we have our friend here 
and this one is number one. For those of you who didn't go and get 34 first, we just took this waypoint and there's a cave entrance over here as well. Much quicker if you don't need to go and get number 34. But our waypoint's just right here. Just in case you're doing it in another order. Both three and two are in the same area, so I'm gonna put their timestamps as the same because they're pretty much next to each other. So same waypoint as before, the Diversus Ledge, and we're just gonna follow these torches. We're gonna grab number three first. Wasn't a great jump. Here we go. And right off to the side, this one is number three. And we, oh, I can't jump today, and now I'm stuck. What? Ah, don't jump at me. There is your number two. You can also jump over there. I don't know without a glider how far you can get without dying but I'm sure you can angle it so for number 50 I took the diverse ledges waypoint back where you could just walk back and it's approximately by my personal waypoint so we have our doors right here and our boulders here just behind the big boulder right here From number 50, we will go into number four, but I'll pull up the map for those of you who may be joining in midway. Diverse Ledges Waypoint, and we're going to the personal waypoint, which is a tent. Looks cool. And it is... Right there, you can see his little toesies. Yeah, so he's there. Just the little toesies. Moving on to number five. So we're approximately going here. Right here. It wasn't this easy to find the first time, but I think it's because I went around this way. It's not as easy to see. There we have it, and we'll move on to Sanctum Harbor. First up, we're going to do number 37. So we took the Claw Island waypoint, and we're heading towards this personal interest. There is 37, and now we're going to head for 38. And there is number 38. We're going to now head for number 36. So from where we are, it's about here. Here-ish, near the back, 
right here is your number 36. Next, we'll move to 35 from here. Again, we're not far from the Phoenix Roast Waypoint. So I'm just gonna take a step back just so you can have a, an idea of where I am. Head kind of down a bit and then up. And there is our number 35. And now we're going to do number 49. This one is right here. It's kind of in between a couple waypoints, so I'm just going to take our Claw Island and head across the water. I'm going to fly across, but again, you can just swim or take a different waypoint. So you're looking for this fishing boat. Just to give you an idea, you can come down there. Ah, uh, wait, didn't get, oh no. <laughs> and you're aiming around here, but let me get up closer so you can actually see. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Right here. That is your number 49. Uh, next, we're going to move to the Traders Forum. So, for number 47, we took the Traders Forum waypoint, and we're heading to my personal waypoint. right here in the corner where the rock meets the glass but I'll go up there just so you can get a better look right there moving on to number 48 we're going to just head from where we are so again traders forum waypoint and we're heading here so worth to mount for the one second so to our right third archway and right there is number 48 we're now going to head here and take the gate hub plaza waypoint so you need to angle yourself right if you want to shoot it but right here is our Kirka. But I'll just fly up so you can get a better view as well. Right there is number 46. Next we'll move on to 23, which is about there. Oh, a oh, little picnic. And there is number 23. So we're now doing number 19. We took Eastern Ward Waypoint and we're heading approximately here. And we wanna kinda get in this ledge and he's right here. I see you. Next, we want to do number 18, which is about here. So we're just gonna drop down. Hanging out with the crab. Moving on to our last three in this area, we're going to take the Eastern Award Waypoint again. And this time we're going into the little like nightclub area. Password is the password. I'm gonna head upstairs. I didn't mark this one on the map. We're just, we're inside for the next few. And behind the bed. So this would be number 17. Moving on. And this guy is number 14. I'll bring up the map so you have an idea. 
kind of forms a question mark between the waypoint. So right here. And this next one I always, always walk by. It's right around here-ish. Where? This ledge? No. Oh, Bash the Dragons! A different song, a completely different song was playing earlier. It's sad when you recognize the song. <laughs> Not sad, but he's right here. He'll jump up every once in a while so you can get a, an aim. Moving on, we're at the Guild Bluff Waypoint, and we're going to head towards 22. And there is number 22. We're going to be super lazy and waypoint back. So we're back at the Guild Bluff Waypoint, and we're heading now for 21, which is about there. So our rock's right here by the waypoint. Gonna curve under. And there he is. We're now going to head towards number 15. Again, from the waypoint, you can just head this way. If you're coming from the waypoint, you'd probably just come this way. Okay, so we're gonna go right. And this one, you're gonna have to probably time it. Oh, nope. We can see you right from here. I was having a hard time earlier seeing the Karka. I had to wait until it jumped up. But I was probably not standing on these boxes. That's exactly it. All right, stand on these boxes, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Somewhere around here is number eight. So it is a jumping puzzle. Thankfully, it's it could be worse for those of you who don't like jumping puzzles. So we'll keep it nice and easy. Jump on the rock. I'll go extra slow. Jump on this rock. Okay, then we go up. In that little nook. Just kind of crisscrossing right now. Oh, goodness. I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. force our way up here. So if you wanted to finish the puzzle, you would continue going upwards. But in this case, I'm going to turn around and this rock, uh, to me anyway, it has a little bit of purple on it. And we're going to push through. Just be very careful because around here you'll kind of slide yeah, down a bit and you don't want to fall. I can't, for some reason, I would rather see part of my body than do the First person view, oh my god, no. <laughs> One moment, please. All right, um, that went so much better for me when I'm going at like my normal jumping puzzle speed. I, you just muscle memory, you just know what you're doing. So let's try this purple rock again. The second I slow it down, it... Uh, <laughs> It's a little funky for me. And then we're gonna turn around and look up. And so then you're going to go back down. And we're gonna grab number 20 around here. And so we have some rock stairs here. We're gonna keep down. 
and right here is number 20. We're going to do 45. We're doing the inner harbor section area now. We're at the cavern waypoint and we're heading to my personal waypoint. Cross the rope, and from here, you should be able to see it. Sorry, not see it, shoot it is what I meant. It's around here, you're just gonna have to aim blindly. However, let me show you. this big leaf right here. You should hopefully get it. Onwards to number 24. If you don't have a glider or a mount, you're just going to have to come back to this same area. And this one's a bit more tricky. I have a mount so I can self-correct if I mess it up but we want this guy right in here so you could drop down to that ledge right here straight down and you should be able to aim and that one was number 24 we are now going to do shark maw caverns all of the ones I'm covering are in here, but this one, we're at the Far Shore Waypoint. I will continue to link below my working map, but it's not going to be very helpful because you really only get a print screen of the area you're in as you're going through it. So I'll put it there. Eh, maybe you'll use it, maybe you won't. But let's get started with our number 27. So we're going to go the exact same way we are for all the other ones. Until just before the puzzle. So we are going to head up this way to get all of the other ones, but this one is this way. Right here, that is number 27. Now, we have to do it again. This takes a second anyways. And then this time we are going to go left. way to get down to the bottom without dying but if you don't want to risk it because it kind of sucks to have to come all the way back here you can kind of half hit some things and slowly go down oh oh <laughs> and almost die but maybe not it's a little bit of a gamble but gotta make your own choices in life sometimes i'm gonna head over to the second pool over here and our number 28 is going to be on the wall. So we're looking for the green part of the wall, or where the light is hitting. And there is number 28. You can pull up the map so you have an idea. We're still very much in the be beginning. Our next one is number 39, somewhere in the boat, the middle of the next puzzle. 
well, I guess first puzzle, unless you want to count the waterfall as a tricky puzzle. Anyways, let's move on. So there's going to be a strange ball of light that you can interact with that will eventually lead you to where you need to go, but I've abandoned it and it's somewhere in here. We're going to go to the right. Again, just go to the end until you hit the wall, and then a little to the right will be this wall right by this torch, and that's your first fake wall that you can go through. And then again, by the next torch is your second fake wall. And in the wall is a naked man, but also your karka. So let's just pull that up here. My personal waypoint was vastly off, so we'll just change that. And again, that was number 39. Okay, so we're gonna keep going through. Again, looking for this uh, colored torch. And that's our last big wall. And our next guy is at this waterfall, but up a level. So just keep on trucking. Oh no. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Okay, so this is our second waterfall. I can hear him. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right here. You're off to the right a little. Just to give you an idea. And then map wise. So that was number 40. Next is number 41. So we're gonna back a little so you want to be careful oh look our ball of light we caught up okay so <laughs> i had to restart because i completely walked by it and i was starting to die so third archway this is our first arch we're going to keep it nice and centered so we don't die this is our second archway and our third and then you're gonna want to turn around and it was dark here and i couldn't see him so this is your number 41 let me give you an idea on the map literally is about halfway through onwards to number 42. Good there for a second. Oh. <laughs> decisions, bad decisions were made. Oh, look, our ball of light is back. Gonna make sure we take precautions here. Okay. And we are back because I fell all the way to the bottom. I couldn't remember what way to go. It's down. You just you just go down. <laughs> I unfortunately went all the way down accidentally. It wasn't intentional. But our number 42 is right here. So if you can see, our friend is just at or behind the water spout. And we're about here on the map. All right, so we're going to keep going for a number 43. Well, 
like somewhat useful. I can kind of navigate a little bit better. I don't even remember where I got it, to be honest. So long ago. Okay, so we have a few different options to go down. If I remember, we're taking this one. Can we not go on this one? Okay, I couldn't remember. We're going down this one. We die. Life is cruel. Oh. No, I don't remember that. The captain has helped us. Well, that's great. I believe until you meet the captain you won't get revived so the first spout at the beginning if you don't do it right i know for a fact you die because i have done it oh my god here we are again just i never take i always take this one. we're just taking this one we'll walk our butts over Take this one, can I? Okay. <laughs> Apparently, this must have been the one I've always taken, or I don't remember how to not die. So, we came down. I know we came down the wrong spout, so we just have to go over to this room. And he is. I can never find him. Oh, right there. So he's hidden on this little ledge. So we just walked in through there. And behind this wall up here is number 43. All right, last two, number 25 and 26, we're going to do them together. We are at Far Shore Waypoint and we're heading in this direction. I'm mounting up only for a second for speed and efficiency. I'm gonna lose it in a second right now. There we go. I have done this way too many times. So both are in here. Number 25 is up here in the vines. And number 26 right by the spout. Let's get a good look. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Right. Right there. That is it. That is all of them. Hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I don't know, guys. Maybe see you around.